Hi everybody, welcome back. So this is going to be just a quick video. It's kind of a show and tell. Uh, if you remember a couple videos ago, I did a restoration series. What was it, like 15 parts or some ridiculous thing like that on a uh, Pioneer SX 1280. And if you recall, those 1280s had these strange transistors. They looked, uh, they looked almost like those MT200 case, but they were slightly different. They didn't line up. The screw holes were a little bit wider. And uh, we got into a discussion of, you know, number one, there aren't very many of those made. And number two, they're really hard to find. And the problem is, what do you do if you need to replace those? What happens if those transistors burn out? Like if you get a amplifier or something that uses those MT200s. Now, later on in the 1980s, those MT200 style transistors became pretty common and a lot of the gear out there was using them. But again, today, those things are getting harder and harder to find. But the regular T03P and T03PL type transistor cases quite often are available. And they have either the same or superior specifications to those old MT200 transistors. So as we were talking about that, uh, one of the viewers happened to be Chris Hoppy from Hoppy's Brain. And I, I think uh, if you go way back, I did a restoration series on the ADCOM, I think it was a GFA 585. It was a great big 250 watt per channel amp. And I used his circuit boards. He specializes in the restoration of ADCOM gear. And I purchased a set of those uh, amplifier boards from him because the old ones were completely damaged by leaky capacitors. That's kind of a known thing from that generation of ADCOM gear. And he and I kind of developed a little bit of a friendship. We kind of talked back and forth through email sometimes. And of course, he emailed me and said, you know, I got to thinking, I wonder, I think I can probably make an adapter plate that we can use modern transistors in place of those MT200s and of those transistors that were used in the, you know, the 1280 and the, the 1980 Pioneer and those ones, you know, that series. And even possibly, we talked a little further and even maybe in some point make an adapter that will adapt like a TO220 or a TO3P to those little bat wing transistors that are used in like the SA9800 amplifier and some of the M series amplifiers from Pioneer that use those ring emitter transistors. So all kinds of options. Lo and behold, I received a package in the mail after going back and forth on emails and bouncing ideas off of one another. And this is what he came up with. And you can see there's a couple different layouts of it. These are solid copper. And you can see they have mask on one side. And you can actually fuse the transistor. This is for the, those non, those similar to uh, MT200 transistors that are used in the Pioneer SX1280 and 1980. And you can see it's, they're a little bit different. And here is an actual MT200. You can see he has it written on here. These are to replace the 2SD746, 2SB706. You can see that. And we can break these apart. And what we're supposed to do is when you're done, he even made up a couple of prototypes. And you can see these right here. Here's a set. So these are the uh, NJ1302G. And NJW3281G, and see. So this would be an example of one of those MT200 uh, similar ones, <laughs> like the 2SD746. And you can see he has the extensions on there because those ones had uh, extra collector connections on them. And. You can see how they're fused on there. He just soldered them on there. And I actually emailed him and haven't had a chance to hear back. But uh, I don't know if he used a heat gun to put these on or how he got them fused, but you just see how perfectly those are on there. And I think even the plastic case ones, we were, I kind of mentioned to him about some thermal adhesives and so forth. But the really cool thing is 
that is solid copper. So you put some thermal pad material on the back of that and you have a really, first of all, this is nice and thick and it will conduct heat by itself. And then when you get that down on the heat sink with a, a really high quality thermal pad, this is actually a good solution, you can see. So I just wanted to show these to you all. I want to invite you all to, on the comments section, if you have any thoughts or ideas how to improve this, or if, if you think these are a good idea, a good product, uh, let us know. And I'll put uh, Chris's website. He actually has an official website that you can buy some of his products. Again, this is, you know, this is an endorsement, okay? It is. <laughs> He's not paying me for it or anything, but I've used his products. We're friends. We've talked back and forth on email. And uh, this really, I thought, was a great idea. And he took the time to actually make it a reality. So I think what he's thinking is once we get this perfected and once he gets it to a point where he's got a really good working model here, I think he's going to start selling these and you'll be able to order them. And uh, I'm sure he'll put up more information on his website as he does. So again, his name is Chris Hoppe, H-O-P-P-E. And it's Hoppy's Brain, H O P P E S B R A I N dot com. And uh, you can go on there and look at some of the products. You can check out uh, some of his replacement circuit boards and power supply boards and so forth for the ADCOM gear, for if you do restorations on that. High quality, good equipment. And the best thing of all is Chris is really good with tech support. He knows those products like the back of his hand, and he will make sure that you will be successful when you try to, uh, if you ever decide to use those boards and install them. So uh, hopefully if I get something in the near future that uses these transistors that we have to replace them, uh, I'm gonna save these for that. And at that point in time, yeah, Dave's probably listening to this video and he's already probably uh, look at planning what he's gonna be bringing out here the next time if I know him. But, uh, just wanted to share that with you guys and put it out there and we're going to get this video up here and uh, thanks a lot. So take care everybody. Peace, joy, happiness and good health in your lives. We'll see you again real soon and I have another video right now I'm going to start on. I just wanted to do this before I started that. Take care. Bye-bye.